hey, it's Scavenger Reviews here, and I have a video that I wanted to make for a while now, and it is all about childhood trauma. And specifically, not necessarily, like, actual childhood trauma. I'm talking, like, the banned episode of Spongebob, the, you know, Cuz the Cowardly Dog type childhood trauma. Which, um, listen, all due respect, all due respect, I don't mean to be rude, all due respect, y'all are babies, I'm telling you. Like, I see so much childhood drama videos of, like, cartoons, like, and stuff like that. Like, Coach the Cowardly Dog was not scary, bro. If you were getting scared, I was watching that shit at, like, fucking, like, seven years old, something like that. I don't know, whenever it came out, you know, and I was perfectly fine. Like, you know, the whole, um, like, the biggest one from Courage that gets, like, all the praise and stuff like that. And people say, like, oh, I remember that scene and it, it shook me. It's like the, um, return the slab or suffer my curse. That ain't shit, bro. Y'all scared of that? And, like, this isn't gonna be one of those videos where, like, you know how most people make these videos? And they're like, look, if that's your opinion, that's fine, it's valid. Okay, this is this is just my opinion. You know, yours are not wrong, mine are not blah blah blah. No, you're fucking wrong. <laughs> like, you know what I was getting scared by at that age? Like fucking um What was I getting scared by? I don't know. I was watching fucking horror movies at like twelve, you know, and then like scary movies at like younger than that. Like I remember watching like Beetlejuice and, you know, Gremlins at like fucking six years old the you know and like i'm not scared of anything you know now you know and you got people that like still can't even you know watch horror movies like i talk to like literal grown ass adults now like if you don't like gore that's okay that's completely different but if you can't watch like a scary movie you know like if it's any scarier than like say like dracula or like um the creature from the black lagoon like all that old shit if you if you don't if you can't watch like scary movies fuck are you doing as an adult you know if it's just not your thing i totally get it you know most horror movies are trash and again if if you don't like gore i totally get that that's kind of its own separate thing but like back to childhood trauma there's the courage one like, uh, you know an episode that occurred, occurred that it didn't scare me, per se, but it did, like, kind of stick with me? It's, like, an episode that you actually see Courage as, like, I guess you could call it his backstory. But you see Courage as, like, a little puppy, and he's abandoned, and he gets taken in by Muriel, you know, and stuff like that. But then um, he gets taken to the vet, and he thinks that the vet is going to, like, send him to the moon or whatever. And there's this scene where, like, Courage, like, runs away from the vet, and he's sitting in an alley, and he's just, like, sitting there crying to himself because he thinks that Muriel, like, the one person that, like, actually loved him, gave him away, like, instantly, and he's, like, sitting there just crying, thinking about it. That scene fucked me up, you know, because that's not scary, but that's, like, damn, it hit me right in the feels, man, you know, and, like, I also see, like, I just don't see things that are scary, I mean, that you guys think are scary, that I, I don't think are scary, the, another one I get seen, now, this one I didn't personally see as a child, so, like, I can't necessarily say, I, I've seen it as an adult, like, two, three years ago, four years ago, something like that, I don't know, but the, uh, walrus on Pingu, that, like, it shows up, and it's just like, hey, that's not scary. It's, it's like, a weird-looking walrus. I don't know why you guys think that, like, if it has teeth, it's scary. I think that's what it is. Because, like, I remember that's everybody's issue with the, uh, first Sonic movie design. Like, that's, first of all, that was awful. But it wasn't scary. You know, um, Five Nights at Freddy's, you know, isn't scary. Like, I can't stand, like, Markiplier and, like, all the fucking FNAF YouTubers and stuff like that that just overact and act like that is the scariest peak, like, the peak of horror fiction is FNAF. And 99% of it is just, like, jumping at the camera. 
you know, and I know, like, the lore, like, I, I'm not, like, an expert or anything, that's my brother's division, but I know, like, the lore is, like, all fucked up, and stuff like that, but if you look at just the games themselves, it's just a lot of, you know, <laughs> you know, a lot of jumping at the camera, it's not scary, bro, if you need supplemental material to not only, like, supplemental material should increase, uh, um, product, it should not support the product you should not have to like read fucking like whole books and you know go into like hour-long youtube videos breaking down the secret history and what really happened to uh michael afton i think is his son's name william afton's a dude but like michael afton's his son i don't know you know like supplemental material should not be the main thing, you know, the main thing should be, oh, I don't know, probably the main thing, and, um, I don't know, I remember, okay, I was, again, I don't know, like, specific ages, because, like, who the fuck, like, mugs it on their calendar, June 18th, I watched a movie, you know, I don't know, like, specific dates, but when I was, like, 8 to 10, I'll give you that range, I watched a movie called Carnosaurus. Now, if you watch that nowadays, as an adult, especially nowadays with, like, the dated effects, you know, it's pretty cheesy. You know, it's it's not the best. But that scene has, it's, uh, so, like, just gonna, like, five-second exposition this. There's a woman who wants to bring back dinosaurs for chickens, and she, uh, yeah, 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 and she, like, impregnates herself with a dinosaur but she can't give birth to it because the egg's too big or like I, actually i think it wasn't even in an egg it was weird it was like going to be a live birth but she couldn't do it because it's you know a fucking velociraptor it was a dinosaur so she lays on the on the floor of her kitchen and she grabs her nails which are like long because she's been like you know contaminating her dna with like dinosaur stuff and she rips open her stomach and, like, pulls it apart like that to pull the baby dinosaur out of her stomach. And I saw that at, like, fucking 8 years old to 10 years old, something like that. It's, so like, somewhere in that range. And that wasn't nothing to me. I was just watching that. Like, it was no big deal. I was like, yo, that's crazy. You know, that was no big deal. You know, y'all act like, you know, return the slab or suffer my curse is scary. But, like, what the fuck, bro? I don't know. I'm not saying, like, you know, I'm a big man. I never get scared. Because, like, I do get scared. And there are times when I can psych myself out. There are times when I'm, like, dead ass, literally in my room or, like, in my bathroom, like, late at night, pitch black. Well, not pitch black in the bathroom, but, you know, late at night and I'm, like, what was that noise? Eh, it was nothing. But was it, though? <laughs> you know? And I'll psych myself out, you know? And it'll be like fucking nothing. I'm literally in my room alone. My door's closed, you know, because I sleep with my door closed and pitch black and pure silence. I, I want my... Sen put me in the sensory deprivation tank. I will sleep better than anybody's ever slept in their entire life, bro. Separate sensory deprivation tanks... Or, like, the separate... Oh, my fucking God. The sensory deprivation rooms that are, like, got the um, walls that look like this and stuff like that. And, apparently, it's so quiet in there that you can hear your blood, like, pumping through your veins and stuff like that. That sounds fucking awesome. Apparently, most people, like, give up after, like, 10 or 15 minutes or something like that. Shit, I'd be in there for hours, bro. I'd be... I would be sleeping hard for, like, the first time in my life, you know? I, I don't know. And another thing I'll do is, um, well, you're like, I do get scared. Like, I, I like tense moments, you know? And I guess, like, FNAF has a lot of tense moments. I don't mean to just be, like, completely fl flaming FNAF right now, but, you know, I don't know. I guess I just am. You know, FNAF, it's all about the tenseness and then the build-up to the uh, thing. I don't know. I'm playing through Dead Space right now, the remake, which, oh my god, I'm making a video on that. That is an amazing remake. Please play it. Anyways, though. And it's not scary, but it's 
so fucking intense, bro. Like, I'll be just standing there, like, opening a locker or something like that, and then a necromorph will, like, come on screen, and I'll be like, oh, what the fuck is You know, I'll be, like, fucking getting out of the way, and, like, I've got, like, clips that, like, I wish I could post them. I don't know how to, like, uh, take video clips on my PS5 and, like, post them, but, like, specifically put them in my video, because I don't have a computer, so I don't know how to do all that, but if I had a computer, I probably could. But anyways, I've got, like, so many clips, you know, that I don't even know, bro. I don't even know. Like, I got this one where, like, a body bag scared me. I kid you not. I was walking through, like, a hallway, and the body bag, like, literally, like, I kicked it, and it bounced, and it, like, wrapped around my back. It scared the shit out of me, bro. I literally, like, I was sitting, I was chilling with my brother, right? And my brother was sitting on the floor, and I yelled, what the fuck was that? <laughs> you know, like, I get scared, I definitely get scared, but, like, I've never understood childhood trauma, like, I don't have any childhood trauma, the only thing that, like, really got me, and, like, I couldn't sleep, is I was watching, like, alien videos, and chupacabra sighting videos, and, you know, stuff like that, like, way back when, like, fucking 2007, uh, YouTube, or whatever, you know, and, uh, there was this one video of, like, this weird creature in, like, the Philippines that they found, you know, and it was, like, weird, it had a weird face, and, like, kind of looked like a chicken, like, I think what it is, is they just killed a chicken or a turkey, and then plucked it, and then was, like, look at this weird creature, because now that I think about it, like, I haven't thought about that in years, but, now that I think about it, yeah, I think it was probably just a plucked turkey, or duck, probably a duck, but, like, with the beak removed, because they ripped the beak off, that was what scared me, you know, I saw that, and I was like, what the fuck is that, because they were like, look at this dead creature, you know, and, like, again, chupacabra sighting videos, and blah, 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 you know, actual, like, stuff like that, you know, and that got me, and that was, like, one night, and see, I hate to give my um, biological father, like, any credit because I'm not very close with him. I'm more close to my stepdad. But I hate to give him any credit. But he taught me a very important lesson that it's not going away and no one's going to come help you deal with it, you know? Because, like, I was scared to death that night. I was, like, fucking seven years old, some shit like that. I don't know. I was scared to death that night, and I was literally, like, laying in my bed, and I was, like, I don't know, I went in, and I asked if I could sleep with him, and he said no, <laughs> and I was like, please, and he said no, and I was like, well, damn, I mean, I didn't say that, because I was, like, seven years old, but, like, I went back to my bed, and you want to know what I did? I went to sleep, bro, because that's what you do. You just do the thing. It's not that hard. Like, face your fears. Be a man. Be a woman. You know, be whatever you want to be. And just chin up. You know? I don't know. I remember this one time. All right, I'll tell you this. I remember this one time I got scared. I was much older. This this is not a childhood story. This is like 18, 19. I, I don't know. Some 18 or 19. I'm not good with dates. I'm not good with years. Okay, just got me some slack. But I was about 18. And I do not believe in ghosts. I don't believe in ghosts. I don't believe in demons. I don't believe in angels. I don't believe in uh, orbs of light. I don't believe in, like, uh, souls, chakras, the boogeyman, uh, wendigos, skinwalkers, anything spiritual or, like, any cryptids. That is all just made up. To me, you know, I don't know. And that one, I do mean it when I say, like, no offense, because, like, if you believe in that, you're an idiot, but, like, whatever, it's your beliefs, whatever. But, hey, bro, I don't believe in that shit. But anyways, that being said, I don't believe in it at all. I was laying one night, and I swear to God, I got my foot grabbed by something. Because, like, I was, like, you know, laying normally, 
And you know those dreams you have when you like you feel like you're falling and then you wake up and you shift like that? Well, I did that, but I didn't just do that. I like shifted like a whole foot down the bed. Like literally my feet were now hanging off the bed and like my head was off the pillow. Like that wasn't just like a whoo. That that wasn't just that, you know, and like it fucking got me, bro. I'll admit I was scared because like I said, I sleep in pitch black, no in silence, no music. I even have like blackout curtains that I've taken from every house, not not taken from every house, but ta- taken them to every house I've lived in, like from house to house. I have blackout curtains, pitch black, no nightlight. I ain't a bitch, you know, and no music or anything. So it's pitch black and I'm just laying there honestly scared to fucking death. And you know what? My family, who's my mom, uh, my mom, my stepdad, my sister, brother, yada yada. I have a big family. Anyways, though, they inadvertently taught me that exact same lesson again because I was in the garage because that's where my bedroom was because I was a cool kid like that. And I was in the garage and (laughs) yeah, at 18, I swallowed my pride and I called for my mommy. (laughs) I kid you not, I yelled, mom, mom, you know, like a few times, and because I'm in the garage, and there's like a laundry room that separates the garage from the kitchen, and then the kitchen to the bedrooms, so it's like the entire length of the house away, nobody came, (laughs) nobody came, so I said, well, shit, (laughs) and you know what I did? I sat back up on my pillow. Well, not sat up. But, you know, got back up on my pillow. Tucked myself the fuck in, you know, just like rolled over and wrapped myself in a burrito. And I was like, guess I'm going to bed or guess I'll die. Because that's what you do. I wasn't fucking going and, you know, getting help or whatever. You know, there wasn't anything there. You know, and clearly I'm still alive. There wasn't anything there. But, like, it fucking got me that night, you know? But I don't know. I just, I see a lot of people talking about childhood trauma, and I can't stand, like, if you're a child and you're scared by something or you believe in ghosts or whatever, okay. But if you're a fucking adult, grow the fuck up. Like, I don't know. Like, just stop. Like, don't believe in ghosts if if you're an adult, dude. Like, you know, oh, you saw the lights flicker once. Oh, you saw you you got a weird chill and you felt like a pressure on your chest. Like, no, you didn't. No, you didn't. The the human brain is just wanting to explain certain things, so it finds a way to explain it. However, it's going to explain it. You know, I don't know, bro. I'm not saying I have explanations. I'm just saying there is an explanation. There's always an explanation for something, whether or not you can find it. And I don't know. Like, I just, where I live now is, like, out in the country and, like, the backwoods, too, you know. Um, And I have never lived, like, in a community with more superstitious people ever. Because everybody up here believes in shit. Everybody up here is like, I have premonitions and, like, certain feelings and stuff like that. Like, shut the fuck up. I can't stand people who, like, think they have powers, you know? Like, I have psychic abilities or I have psychic tendencies even, you know? Like, you don't have powers. because Like, I don't know. Where even is this video going, bro? Like, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I am completely going from one point to another, so I apologize. But, frankly, if you watched even one of my videos, because they're all like this, you know this is what this is what you came for. So, so you're watching this. Um, but, yeah, that's about it. I don't really have anything else to say. I'm watching through the Saw movies right now, which I thought that would be my, like, scary... You know, because I've always stayed away from the Saw movies when I was a kid. Because, A, I was a kid and I was too young to watch them. And then by the time I was old enough to watch them, it was like, 
saw six or something like that so i just didn't really care anymore you know because like what's the point of jumping in a franchise at that point but now i'm watching them i'm on the third one uh the first one fucking slapped i'm actually gonna make a video on it second one was all right too the third one was okay um not the best, but okay, I still liked it. It was still, like, a passing grade, just, like, a, you know, 7 out of 10, whereas the others are an 8 and 9. Um, actually, the first one I say is a 10 out of 10. I say that's a perfect fucking movie. Anyways, though, but, like, move past things. I'm That's I, that's why I brought it up, is, like, Saw used to be, like, this huge hurdle for me, and now I'm watching them. Move past aversions. Like, if you're, like... 10 years old, first of all, don't watch my videos, <laughs> but if you're, like, 10 years old when you're 10, okay, take it slow, you don't have to face your fears, I did because I'm not a pussy, you know, but you don't, you, you don't have to, take it slow, you don't have to face your fears right away, you know, I actively sought out things that scared me, um, but, like, as an adult, be a fucking adult, like, I don't know, bro, now, maybe not the Saw movies, because, like, the, like I said, the Saw movies are all you know, filled with gore and stuff like that. So if you don't like that, then that's okay. But whatever your saw is, you know, whatever movie that you knew about as a kid, like Nightmare on Elm Street or It, like, or whatever, you know, watch it. Go back and watch it. See if it scares you. And if it does, that's not necessarily a bad thing, but move past it, you know? Fear isn't, like, a bad thing. Fear is a natural response. If you let yourself be controlled by fear, that's a bad thing. Whew. So anyways, thanks for coming to my TED Talk. <laughs> but yeah, just move past fear. And I've been scavenger reviews, and this is like a really negative, pretentious, asshole kind of video. So like, if it's your first one, I'm not always like this. Usually, I temper myself down, and usually... I'm a lot nicer, I'm a lot more easygoing and chill, I just, I gotta let out some frustrations that's been bugging me for a while now, but you can find me on Instagram at scavenger reviews on Instagram, you can find me here obviously, like and subscribe, I'd really appreciate it, I have like under 50 subscribers, I really need them, your likes please give, um, but yeah, and I don't really have anything else. I mean, I have my, like, personal Instagram, and then I have, like, another Instagram, and then I have an Instagram for my dog that I don't even have anymore because I had to give him away. That's really sad. Well, he's fine. Like, he's, he's doing fine. He's actually doing better than I could have ever done. But still, I, li I like my dog. My dog. Anyways, um, yeah. Find me on Instagram at Scavenger Reviews. Find me on here. And check out more of my videos. Uh, one I did really good lately is the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle one. I actually did that with my brother and my niece. And the Halloween one is not very good, but I like it anyways. And then watch my Mortal Kombat video. I know it's long. It's like an hour, but watch it. If you have any interest in fighting games, well, if you have interest in like fighting games as a topic, it might not interest you. But if you have any interest in specifically Mortal Kombat, I implore you. Watch that video. It's called Mortal Kombat is a $70 mobile game because it is. Anyways, I've taken enough of your time. I got to get going. It's been Scavenger, and I will catch you guys next time. See ya. Peace. Lay out.